in a lot of our videos we mention Nick and Penny and Nick and Penny are our coaches and he's joined here today mm. to answer some questions that you may have. So, how did you first become involved with ice skating? Okay, I first got involved in ice skating because my grandparents ice skated. So my grandma did ice shows, and my granddad was a speed skater. So they met at the ice rink, they bought my mum, and then it was just a family thing. We'd go every weekend, and I was just kind of, you know, put into ice skating from yeah. a very early age. So. And then follow-up question, how did you get into ice dance? Um... I did single skating until I was like 15, um, and then I was, I don't know, I fell, I fell out of love with single skating. I was never the best single skater, but I always skated really nicely, mm -hmm. if that makes sense. So a lot of people told me I would be a good ice dancer. Then I started doing both for a while, which was kind of fun, and then I kind of decided, actually, I really like ice dancing. It's kind of a lot more fun for me, and then it went from there. When did you realize that it was more than just a hobby? Um... It was a it was a natural process to go from kind of you know just learning it or giving it a go to then all of a sudden it being really serious you know because for a long time we also did school so I went to university um, and it was kind of like when we qualified for the Olympics it was kind of like we decided we're going to go for it we're going to take it more seriously and kind of go to America and train kind of builds up yes it? so it wasn't it wasn't like <laughs> a, it wasn't a single moment it was a stepping stone thing yeah. Um, did you ever consider giving up ice dancing at any time? And if so, what motivated you to keep going? I, d I didn't actually consider giving up ice dancing. I think you just, the, the way ice dancing works, you know, from season to season, you, you know, you complete one season, you kind of figure out what's happened in that next season, and then you move forwards. And it just, before you know it, you're, you know, you've been doing it for 10, 15 years. It just goes, and it, before you know it, Time, time flies, so no, I didn't yeah. think about... You never get a chance. <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't. You literally finish one season and boom, you're on to the next one. Yeah. So I know you went to university. Mm -hmm. um, how did you keep up with your education while you were training as a teenager? Um, I think you, you learn the coping strategies to kind of schedule your day. So, you know, you know when your skating is and you kind of you figure out a way of, you know, fitting all that in around... Um, around your skating you know you've got to get your work done so I think one thing ice skating does teach you is like kind of time management and because yeah. yeah and because my parents are always very much you know you need to make sure you're doing your education and like if I didn't do very well at school the, then skating would be the Punishment. kind of consequence <laughs> but yeah it was yeah. it really was it was kind of like if you don't do this you don't do your homework you're not going to you're not going skating so it was very much I knew I had to get the work done it was just I then needed to figure out a way to kind of make it all come together and fit were you successful in doing that, or did you struggle at times? Well, like it's, a, it's a little bit like, you again, you learn the coping strategies as you're going through school. Yeah. So I did it from a, a young age, so I was doing, you know, kind of your regular, like, secondary school, you know, and you learn how to deal with that, and then the workload increases, then you go to A-levels, and then again the workload increases, then university. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of, you, you learn those coping strategies as you're moving through. Yeah. What made you choose to go to university whilst being a full-time athlete? Was that something that you knew was going to be difficult? Um, Were you prepared for the challenges? <laughs> well, it, it, kind of in a way, it's, it was a little bit like what all my friends were doing as well. Yeah. You kind of think, oh, every, everybody goes to university. That's, yeah. kind of what, uh, that's kind of what I want to do. So, um, you know, I've, I've not ended up using what, I've, uh, what I did at university, but I use a lot of the skills that I learned in that period of my life, if that makes sense. Yeah. I always feel like it's just a discipline thing. If you've got got it as another side of skating then it's it's good to build up as a as yeah because well ed the education teaches you so many coping strategies before how to deal with sport as well and yeah. vice versa so they vice play versa. off each other yeah what was the best piece of advice you received as an up-and-coming athlete that's a if really you, if good you have any question. <laughs> do you remember um i think the the most and the the kind of most poignant thing anybody ever said to me and it wasn't exactly anything fantastic was keep going you know when you know when it when times are tough and you don't know how you're going to fit everything in whether it's school whether it's hard hard things about skating it's keep going you'll figure it out and you'll get you know you kind of if you have that mindset of oh that's it sorry can't do it that's when well that's when you'll decide you can't do it if you say oh i really can't do school it's so hard to be doing that in training you won't do it 
if you say I'm going to figure out a way because there's I know very a lot of Olympic athletes that went to the Olympics but also did school to a very high level so it is absolutely 100% possible and for anybody to tell you that it's not it's yeah. that's that, that's not the truth it's, uh, the it's definitely possible <laughs> but you have it's not easy and you have to figure out a way yeah um, what has been the highlight of your career to date um, I think the highlight of my career is I mean going to the Olympics is, is one of them but the, the kind of the kind of <laughs> our, our season when we did uh, the 2013-14 season was really the highlight of our career because we kind of we medaled at Europeans we went to the Olympics we got our best result at the Olympics and it was kind of all of that you know came together really well so um, it was multiple moments I guess but the, obviously the Olympics is always kind of the pinnacle really and obviously you're coaching now um, what what do you enjoy most about coaching I think I enjoy the immediate kind of the gratification of seeing what you've said affect somebody else do you know what I mean it's it's like it's, it's it can sometimes be a very instant reward you know do this and then all of a sudden it's done and you immediately see how much better it looks and that's a really that's a really helpful thing as well as kind of I've, I've enjoyed seeing people grow and develop some of the young kids that I've worked with, I mean yourself as well, you know, how you've kind of gone from, from where you were a couple of years ago yeah, to where you are now, but it's, it's, it's really nice to see that growth and sometimes I'll look back on my iPad to see old things that we were doing or some of the young kids that have, that have literally grown up now, I've had them from being young kids and some of them are going to college as they call it over here, you know, so it really is... A nice that's a, another little side of coaching that I didn't think that I would necessarily experience just because you know you exp you think it's the day to day but it's actually the overall yeah. process is really and nice. you've done so much for me and James as well like to think of <laughs> to think of how I was when I came here it was just crazy the difference and it was thanks to you if any <laughs> <laughs> um what this is my favorite question. What's it like working with James and Phoebe? What's it like? <laughs> What's it like working with James and Phoebe? A roller coaster. You don't have to be honest. It is, a, it is a roller coaster. You know, some days you'll come in and everything will be pleasant. Some days will be a little harder. So I think that's we that's, keep him on his toes. That's the way we'll leave it. It's a it's a roller coaster. It's it's up and down, and so and enjoy the ups because those downs are gonna <laughs> those downs are gonna come hard at some point. Oh gosh. And who's your favourite? Who's your favourite? Oh my gosh. Depends who's asking me, I think. <laughs> um, final question. Uh, what are your hobbies or interests outside of ice skating? What are my hobbies or, or interests? Yeah. Um, things have changed a lot now. When I was, <laughs> when I was younger, it was uh, you know, things like soccer or football, sorry. For, oh. I've been in America for too oh. long. Oh my gosh. <laughs> for, like, things like football and golf. Uh, I used to love going go karting as well when I was younger. We should go golf go karting. Golf we yeah. should. Go karting, yeah. yeah. Golf karting. <laughs> we go golf karting as well. Um, but now it's looking after a baby, you know. Yay. It's looking after a young baby and doing things. I go swimming with my baby on Monday, <laughs> which is my favourite time of the week. Sorry guys, it's not coming in and teaching you. It's going swimming with my baby. Yeah, we've been replaced. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Thank you. Hopefully Hope you, you continue. <laughs> Keeping track of Keep Phoebe going. and James. <laughs> Keep going. Keep going. <laughs>